Hello! Welcome to our series of lesson ideas for music educators. Learn how to make the most out of Flat4 Education to create engaging lessons. If you haven't tried Flat4 Education yet, what are you waiting for? Unlock your education superpower by signing up now and get a 3-month free trial. Today, let's talk about rhythm, music's pattern in time. It is the one indispensable element of all music. Hey, now that we are here, what if you subscribe to our channel? You will show us your support while getting great content. Flat for Education offers a variety of ways in which you can teach rhythm to your students. In this video, we'll share one example using the worksheet feature and another using the composition feature. Our highly customizable music theory worksheets allow you to easily create exercises to make your students practice their understanding of rhythm. Have your students identify the duration of notes and rests in a given time signature, or write the beat count below the given rhythm. Customize durations, symbol types, and time signatures. Did you know that you could also use the Takadimi method? Now, let's see how you can easily use the composition assignment to assess your student's knowledge of rhythm. For this assignment, create a score template, where you write rhythms in different matters. lock the template to avoid students to change the position of the notes. You can also attach an audio file as well. This might be helpful if you want your students to listen to a specific melody while completing the assignment. Here, students will be prompted to write the counts above each rhythm using the text function. See? That was easy! There are plenty of other assignments that can be done. Write rhythms inspired by words such as food, weather, noises, seasons. Listen to melodies and transcribe them into staff notation and rhythm dictations. What is your go-to rhythm assignment? Let us know in the comments below this video. Don't forget to subscribe and let us know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Bye!